hello everyone welcome back so in the previous video i was uh, talking about dhcp dynamic host configuration protocol and we have seen how to um, uh, i mean how to start the dhcp service on a server so I, I i already told you in the previous video that the second way of creating the dhcp service is on the router right so in this video we are going to see how to start the dhcp service on the router itself okay uh, so before going to go into the router configuration so i want to tell you so all these pcs they don't have any ip addresses right now okay their ip addresses are blank both in lan 1 and lan 2 now i am going into the router configuration going into cli tab command line interface hit enter now here uh, this is in the normal mode to go into the exec mode or privileged mode we have to give the command enable okay now it is in the exec mode now here we have to enter into the global configuration mode by giving a configure command so the command is configure terminal okay now it is in the configuration mode now we have to create a dhcp pool by giving the command ip dhcp pool now we have to give the pool name okay so the pool name i am giving is pool one so what is a pool means it's a collection of ip addresses from which the service is going to assign the uh, uh, addresses to each and every device Okay, I mean, pool is just a collection of IP addresses, that's all. So hit enter. Now the uh, pool is created. And now the router is in DHCP configuration mode. Okay. Now we have to set the IP address of the network by giving the network command followed by uh, the IP address. So the IP address for the left hand side LAN will be this one. Not exactly the IP address, but we have to give the uh, network ID, which is 192.168.0.0. So this is the network IP ad uh, network address for this entire LAN. Okay. Now subnet mask is class C subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Hit enter. Okay, it's done. Now what should we do is we have to give the default gateway okay for specifying the default gateway uh, the command is sorry default hyphen router space now the ip address of the router default router or default gateway is this one okay 192.168.0.1 and hit enter okay it's done now we have to give the IP address of the DNS server, DNS hyphen server 192.168.0.1. Okay, so the configuration is done. Come out of the DHCP configuration by giving the command exit. Now you are again in the global configuration mode. Now you have to start the service, DHCP service by giving the command service space DHCP. Okay, now done right the service is started now we have to do we have to again type all these commands for the right hand side interface okay i mean for this one so let's do it mm. so again ip dhcp pool now this time the pool name i am giving is pool 2 okay now set the network by giving network 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 is the network network address and class a subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 okay again the default routers ip address is 10.0.0.1 which is this one okay and dns server for the right hand side interface is same 10.0.0.1 okay so there is a spelling mistake here dns server okay now it's done 
so come out of the dhcp configuration by giving the command exit and now give the command service dhcp for starting the dhcp service okay started so that's all that is the configuration we need to do on the router for starting the dhcp service on both the interfaces now go to the pc ip configuration click on dhcp requesting ip address okay ip address is assigned right so you can do this for all pcs done dhcp successful and here is the ip address now for the right hand side lamp pc3 desktop ip configuration dhcp now you can see the ip address is being assigned from pool 2 right hand side pool okay pc4 desktop ip configuration dhcp done desktop ip configuration dhcp done okay so for the sake of completion i am going to give the simulation uh, clear all filters uh, log only icmp packets mm, add pdu okay switch switch to router okay first packet uh, is discarded so this happens sometimes so de uh, delete that add again another pdu so switch switch to router router to switch switch to destination again reply from destination to switch switch to router router to switch switch to source so that's it uh, so this is how you create a lamp or uh, create a network and assign the ip addresses automatically to the devices using dhcp configured on the router okay so that's it for this video thank you